today is my consultation visit for my first today's my consultation visit for my first day of getting my hormones well i'm not gonna get them today but we'll be consulting about getting my hormones within the next week so i am very excited i'll be recording the entire experience for you guys i just to hop on here and tell you guys i'm getting ready right now and we will be recording the entire experience so i'm about to wash my face right now and get everything going and we're gonna consult hello everyone i'm just sitting here waiting for my appointment to start for my telehealth appointment waiting for my nurse practitioner to join I am very excited for this appointment. It means so much to me to be joining an appointment so I can get started on my hormone journey and my journey as a transgender woman. I'm very hype. And here's the little website I'm on to join the video call with the lady. Um, I'm just very hype and I'm excited. I feel like I'm not going to film the whole process of me talking to the lady, but I will in the next clip be talking about how the meeting went and telling you guys what she asked me, etc. And we're gonna get started together. And I can't wait to film this entire journey with you guys. Love you guys so much and thank you for joining me. Therapy, there's really, that your labs look just fine for that. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. Um, I know we had, to, I know that you're interested in injections and I know we had kind of talked about, I was a little concerned about the mood swings initially, just before, you know, letting your body at least get used to the estradiol before we kind of jump into yep. kind of, um, kind of that real big cycle yeah um are you still open to that yes yes okay okay and we can you know it's, it's a temp kind of a temporary thing i will say plenty of patients have fantastic results with pills as well right um and you may find hey like you're feeling great and doing great and yeah you may say well i'm not going to do needles then yeah but we'll just see where you are in three months make sure you're doing great okay um and, and go from there okay um, and then I know we had talked about spironolactone or block using blockers. Yeah. Uh, and I think I remember you saying you wanted to do that as well. Is yeah. That correct. Okay, cool. Um, so then we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, so the way we'll start both medications is I'm going to have you start with um, one tab in the morning okay. uh, of the spironolactone. Mm -hmm. um, it will make you pee, just to remember. Okay. <laughs> it will make you increase urination. Um, it is important that you stay hydrated. Um, the... Uh, the estradiol um, can be taken two ways. Um, you can, it's going to be a two milligram tablet. Okay. It has a short half-life. So ideally, if you are able to do it, you would cut it and do half in the morning and half at night. Right. Um, about 12 hours apart. Mm -hmm. um, it is at this dose, it is okay for you just to take it once in the morning. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, for kind of consistency and blood levels, it's yeah. better to take it twice a day if you're able to. Right. Um, so it's up to you, but okay. um, it's like one in the morning, one at night. If, yeah. Okay. As long as it's not too hard to forget. Okay. The uh, you know I know it's a uh, kind of a geriatric thing to do, but if you want to get like a little pill box so yeah. that you remember, did I take my pill today? You know, I'm definitely gonna. Really I'm not gonna forget. I'm gonna like that's like my <laughs> excitement every day. I'm like, okay, take the pill. <laughs> yes. Yep, exactly. So what questions do you have? Uh, I don't really have any questions, honestly. Do you want to go questions. over um, risks again? Do you want to talk? Yeah. What, do you, what, what can I tell you? Um, we can go over the risks again, honestly. Even though I have it covered, we can go over it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so just, you know, um, and it's more not to scare you off, but more to like, hey, here's the things to think about. Yeah. Um, blood clotting is the biggest one. So yeah. staying well hydrated, keeping your body moving are important. Um, continue to not smoke is awesome. Yeah. Um, and um, if you develop pain in one calf mm -hmm. or um, have shortness of breath, anxiety, feeling um, really, you know, in anything chest pain or anything like that obviously these are emergency symptoms that yep. need to be addressed immediately okay. um as far as um i mean we, we kind of talked at lifetime risk of high cholesterol diabetes hypertension so yep. again whatever you can do now I mean, and that's besides the point with estrogen therapy like whatever you can do now to help keep your body healthy and strong is going to benefit you in the in the future so right. just keep that in mind you're already doing amazing things to take care of yourself so yep. Keep it, keep it up. Um, and, um, you know, mood swings, I know it was probably was the one that we've talked about. It can even happen with the pills too. So mm -hmm. um, it, it is an adjustment. Your body is you're kind of flipping your hormones yep. around and yep. there is going to be a, a period of, of like, 
wow, this is a little wild. Like yep. my, my body's on a ride here. Yep. Um, so, and, but it's not unmanageable. It's just like, okay, yeah. oh, hey, wow, that's happening. It's like, wow, you this know, is like happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just kind of, and, and kind of allowing your, maybe yourself some grace with that. Like, yeah. oh, I feel like crying right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a reason for that. Yeah. Um, and, and that's okay. Yeah. So, but the only thing I really ask for you is that if you feel like it's really affecting your moods negatively mm-hmm. or causing um, any impulsivity or anything like that, just to let me know so okay. that I can work with you um, to, to make sure that you're supported yeah. um, as you go through those changes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, headaches could potentially happen or get worse. Um yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, I, the other thing, too, I know we talked about chest development, but you can get a decent amount of tenderness to the nipple area um, okay. to the point where it's uncomfortable or painful. So mm-hmm. um, if that occurs, I recommend using a, a bra with a li- that has like a liner yeah. um, so that you can that it, that it almost protects your chest a bit from yeah. things rubbing up against you and, right. and like stuff like that. So um, cool compresses can be helpful mm-hmm. if you're having a lot of pain, um, not frozen ones, just cooler ones. And okay. And, um, yeah, what else? What other questions? I don't know. I'm happy to answer any question you might have. I know you're Um, just so excited today. (laughs) I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I never come prepared with questions, honestly, at all. (laughs) I never come prepared. Well, that's okay. And you know, you're, you're welcome to text me through the portal or, or whatever questions, you know, you don't have to wait for three months. Um, so here's what the the follow up will look like. So I'm going to set a reminder for three months from now for, it'll be, it'll, you'll start getting annoyed probably about two months from now saying, Hey, Mm -hmm. you need to set up your follow up appointment. Mm -hmm. Um, at that time you will reorder your lab work in and when we sit down, it'll be like this. You'll already have your labs done, and then you can tell me how you're doing, and then we'll adjust whatever we need to adjust okay. to meet your goals. Yep. Yeah. Come back looking beautiful or so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you're already beautiful, but Thank yeah, you hopefully all. Thank even you all. just... Bring it in 2021 yep. with style. Yeah. Um, and I apologize. The issue with the issues with LabCorp, I'm so hopeful that they will be fixed by then. Um, because right now we're faxing the order over and I don't know what they're doing with the order. Yeah. Um, but in the next. Okay guys. So that's the end of today's video. I did not get to end it well, but this video is basically just an in depth of a consultation visit on the hormone replacement therapy. I know when I was looking for videos on that, when I first began my transition, I could not find much, but today I want to provide you guys a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the in depth of this <laughs> of the in depth of the consultation. Please make sure you guys give me a like and a comment down below. That helps so, so much. You guys do not understand. Like, I want to freaking have my video shown to other people. And YouTube has really been playing me with shadow banning my channel lately. So, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, subscribe to my channel. I have an Instagram at simplyjamie12. And uh, Twitter, too, at simplyjamie12 as well. So, make sure you guys give that big thumbs up. Subscribe. Follow my social media accounts and turn those post notifications and thank you so much for watching today's video and i hope you guys enjoyed it much love and i'll be posting videos every wednesday now so keep an eye out for that much love everyone and stay positive bye